morning, Deanne and Chris. I'm in Fort Myers. I'm about eight miles from the coast and I'm standing in water in front of a mobile home community. And you can see just the scene behind me. I see cars, I see furniture. There's a golf cart. This house, I can actually see right into the living room. I can see their books, their couch, their windows are blown out, the carport is shattered and it's not just this but it goes on and on and on and on photojournalist Dave Crouch is showing you just all of these homes are gone and people are stopping by they're seeing their homes for the first time and guys they have tears in their eyes it's just a heartbreaking devastating scene out here and this is a scene that's playing out all across Fort Myers. Yesterday I was at a gas station. We were trying to get gas and I met a woman named Mona. She had lost her home and now she was stranded at a gas station. Listen to her troubles. First uh, experience with the hurricane. Um, I came here from Ohio. Um, I just uh, woke up this morning from my roof being thrown off of my apartment. So we're currently homeless. Um, we ran out of gas. Um, we've been trying to find gas. Um, We've gone to how many gas pumps? Several gas pumps and have oh, gas. yeah, every gas pump we've heard of. There's like long lines. Every time we get to the gas pump, there's no gas. Um, this gas station is currently open. Like how many? And she was not able to find any gas. And if you're taking a look right now at this video that we shot yesterday that shows you the widespread flooding all across Fort Myers, you can see just the damage. So many roofs gone, so many homes washed away, so many lives shattered back out here live. We have seen just people start to come, whether they're going to their house or they're trying to get to work. I talked with a man who's trying to get to a nearby community to help with the landscaping this morning, a senior community. And we did see a lot of fire trucks earlier today, but at this moment, guys, it's completely quiet again, except for that beeping noise that we've been hearing all morning. And we think it's a fire detector. I'll send it back to you.